Hi everyone, excuse the washing machine noise, I've been waiting for it for ages to stop and it just will not. No doubt it will stop as soon as I stop recording. But anyway, welcome to this little Tesco haul. We went to Tesco to collect it, we did a click and collect and um, yeah it was £120 or thereabouts. So quite expensive for us and um, there's two of us. But it's for two weeks though and um, it's to stock up on things like toilet roll, washing powder, toiletries, quite a lot of the expensive stuff and um, lunches as well. So yeah, hope you enjoy it and let's get on with the haul. Right, so we just got back from Tesco Click and Collect so I thought it'd be nice to do a little haul video. This is uh, the first time we've been to Collect for about two and a half months now. We've been getting deliveries. But I'm going to start as usual with the non-fridge stuff first. So let's start at this end. So this is the non-food stuff. So got the usual favourites. The 65 pence washing up liquid in lemon and what's this one? Rhubarb and rose. That smells quite nice. Got some herbal essences. Uh, Ultra hydration coconut shampoo. That was $1.95. They got all the LV stuff was like three fifty club card price for four hundred mil, which is not bad because this I think is oh yeah this is four hundred. It's not too bad, but they're dearer than they used to be, aren't they? So yeah, I went with that one. Uh, then I got some bar soap. It's really difficult to get hold of this, but Tesco always seems to do it. The extracts one is like the cheapest one that they do. This is lemon and mandarin. It's it's nice. It's not too harsh or anything. And then I got this fifty pence toothpaste. It's fifty pence toothpaste. That's always decent. What's that image? Yeah, that's fine. Not very strong flavour, but it does the job. And then I got these um, eight five p multi-purpose anti bat sprays. I got two of them. What else? Um, right, moving on. So, yeah, for lunches, uh, Jay's not very keen on sandwiches, so I've been trying to find alternatives. So, we've got some pop noodles and um, some other stuff, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, right, and then I'll go through meal plans as we go along as well. So, I'm going to do another curry in the slow cooker. So, I've got some naan bread, 65p they are for two. Party Food Co., that's the cheapest brand that they do. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a chicken Jalfrezi curry and that'll last us for two nights. Um, then I got some pasta, not cooking that this week, but it's only 42p, 45p for 500 grams. So I thought I'd pick that up just to like stock up my food cupboard. Um, then I got this medium for heater kit. This was a bit more of an expensive meal than what we usually have. I think this was about 189 for a packet. Then obviously you've got to buy your peppers and your chicken breast. Um, the peppers, I don't know what they are, like over a pound. Is it one fifty or something? Yeah, I got the cheap ones, the Nightingale Farm peppers. Then no, you just need your onions and I've got some chicken breast as well. Um, then I've got two bags of sweet potatoes. The show is off the normal potatoes at the moment. So um, they're going to be made for chips and also... I'm doing a sweet potato, chorizo and um, onion and cream soup in the slow cooker this week. So that's going to be another kind of nights or two nights dinners served with a baguette. So that's another one. So there's that in the fajita. So that's like four to five nights. Um, actually, this week I haven't done so well in terms of getting lots of nights dinners. We've had to stock up on other things. Another thing I'm doing is a slow cooker chilli. Um, so yeah, if you don't know, I've not long come out of hospital. So I'm looking for kind of easy dinners. This is why I've either been buying ready meals and or this week it's slow cooker stuff. So I got two jars of the chilli con carne sauce. They were, I think, 85p. And I'm going to put mushrooms in. Um, some red kidney beans which are here, got the growers harvest, got the growers harvest ones because they're the cheapest. So yeah, that's another two nights dinners. So count that up. <laughs> um, what else have I got? So yeah, moving on to, yeah, the dog. 
Now, he's been a bit of a problem lately in that he's refusing his dog meat and he's being really defiant. And, like, he won't eat, even if he has, like, a bit of what we have that we give him that is safe for him to eat, like, he won't eat that, even though he loves it, until he's had some of mine. So, I just put, like, little tempting bits in with his dog meat and he's more likely to eat it. So, I've got some corned beef that me and him can share that's about 250 a tin and you get quite a lot and it keeps a long time so when we run out of the wafer thin fresh meat that I put in his dish that's a good backup so I've got a couple of tins of that and then I also got some sardines in brine because uh, that's healthier 50p each they were again like a good thing that he likes that you can put in stock so you don't have to like have fresh wafer thin I buy like the cheap wafer thin chicken for him and stuff to just put a couple of slices in with his dog meat um and then I've got some tuna as well so if he doesn't eat that we will and then some pink salmon I think that was 150 something like that again you know we'll share it or he'll eat it whatever so I got that um like I said, he's also got some like cheap wafer thin stuff as well, but obviously that has to be used really quickly. So I don't like to have to keep going shopping. Then I'll move on to like um, condiments. So yeah, two. This was a quid for some Worcester sauce. This is always handy for my slow cooker meals. Three quid for the marmite, which was a bit painful. Um, I can't remember what the mayonnaise was. I don't know. 120, 130, I'm, I'm guessing here. Yeah, always get the jars because it always gets stuck in the bottle. I hate that. Um, I think that was, what was that? Was that 85? For a massive jar of their ketchup. I love their ketchup, it's fine. Oh yeah, also I got this, Hunter's Chicken, because we love that. So we're not having that this week, but we might have it next week. So I've got the sauce in. It's a bit hard to get. Um... Right, and then also got some cooking wine, three forty nine. So that goes in all my stews as well. Um, and then for lunches again, I got this. This is really nice, the Plant Chef um, basil and tomato soup. So yeah, it's about I think sixty five or eighty five pence a tin. Sorry, I can't remember. I've got my head's quite full at the moment. I'm not still not back up to speed, so I'm a bit dilatory at the moment. Um, yeah, I've got some biscuits, got some rich tea and some party rings because we're five years old. Um, then I've got some 85p rice snaps from Tesco. They're quite nice, nice change for brekkie. Some salted caramel munch bars, they're about 155, something like that. Oh, they've got chocolate on, damn it. Um, then I've got some plain flour because one night we're going to have some pancakes and we were running a bit low on that. So yeah, just do that with like some oranges and some um, sugar. I've got some eggs as well because I need them to make them with. Um, then I've got some more sugar, like that was a quid or something because I'll probably do one of those microwave sponge puddings for a pudding one night. Um, we got some orangina, that was 3 50 for six cans. Um, this was, I think, oh, I can't remember what that was. Decaf Tesco tea, got two bag, boxes of that. And then this was something like 4 75 for a 40 wash Tesco non-bio uh, washing powder. Always does the job, smells really nice as well. This is his um, £10.50 uh, pouches for 40 pouches. He's gone onto these now, he doesn't really like the tins. So I'm kind of mixing him with um, part tin, part pouches. <laughs> um, got some milk, for four pints of milk, because we drink loads of tea. And these are the toilet rolls that we got. So I got those because they're £6.99 for 24 rolls, and it's good, soft, strong toilet paper. So yeah, the Little Duck, uh, Fuzzy Duck, I was going to say that, Supreme toilet rolls um, seem to be the best buy in Tesco at the moment. Um, got some loaves of bread as well. Two whole meal, one white. They're 75p per loaf. So I think that's all of the non-fridge stuff. 
moving on now to the um the fridge stuff now this section is going to contain some meat so if you don't want to see that i would suggest just fast forward in for a couple of minutes okay so i'm going to start then so um first off i got the soured cream that's for the uh chili that i'm making it's about 75p um and then i got the double cream this was a pound or 99p for a big pot cream fields and uh, that's for the potato and chorizo soup I'm doing in the slow cooker um, and then right I'll move on to the meat now so this is for the chilli got some uh, some mince actually we've ended up with two of these Jay two mince Have we? Well, oh, never mind <laughs> I've actually got some pasta sauce so I can do um, I can do pasta with the Dolmio one night, <laughs> so that's all right. Yeah, that's for the chili. Got to eat some pasta, um, and then this is like the sandwich meat for lunches. So that's ours. We got two for three fifty on these. So I got tong and roast chicken, and then I got beef and Cumberland sausage slices. So they were two for three fifty on both of those. I've got four this week because I finally forget two. They, they only last a few days. And then these, these are for our midge mod. Um, so I get the Eastmans. They're the cheapest that they do. Like I say, I put a couple of slices of these in, in every meal for him just to tempt him to eat his dog food. So this is, I don't know, a couple of quid for this chicken roll. And then these are about a pound each. So... 10 slices of beef and then there's some ham as well yeah and then um i've also got this for lunch that's 150 for some crab pate it's really nice so i've got that nice on a bit of toast um two pound and five i think this is for the butter pack it's really nice butter perfectly fine and then yeah these were dear these were four pound 19 i believe for the the salmon um, and I'm doing these with some egg fried rice. So that's another night's dinner. I will try and count up the dinners I got for the money. Um, and then I got some diced chicken breast. This is for the fajitas. So there's um, normally I'd like 500 gram for that dish, but I think there's 300 in there. So I've kind of, it was three quid. I've kind of cut it down to cut the price down a little bit because chicken is so expensive when it's in, you know, breast form. So that's for the fajitas, and then this was a quid for the um, chorizo, which is really reasonable. That's for the soup. So yeah, so all in all then, um, I'll just work out how many, oh yeah, hang on. And then like moving on to the last bit, I've got some chicken. So that was £4.10, was it? This is actually for mum and dad, because um, they've helped us loads with groceries and cleaning bless them when i've not been well so yeah i just wanted to get them something and then we got some lemon cheesecakes you get three for 250 these are lovely you get strawberry as well and then again these are for mum and dad i think they're about one pound fifty for the four egg custard tarts because my dad eats so many of them he's going to turn into one one day i think and mm. um, so yeah got got them <laughs> um i think that's everything yeah, I'll tot up in a minute how many uh, meals I got for the for the price. Right now, on to the freezer stuff. So apologies that I'm doing it in the freezer because I'm not able to like lift and pull things a lot at the moment. So I'm leaving things in here. Um, so I've got these roast potatoes because they just they go with so many meals and they're just the easy option when I don't feel like peeling them. I did get some regular potatoes this time as well, but I got these for like these. I think they're like 152 quid for them. And then I also got some frozen mushrooms this time because I'm always wasting my mushrooms. I never get around to cooking them in time. So these are going to go probably in the chilli and then um, also in another dish which I've completely forgotten. Um, and then I got these sausage rolls. So, yeah, they were 2 50 I think, for the four. So, again, they're for, they're for lunch. So I've got a couple of packets of them. I, don't know, I think I only meant to get one packet of them. Oh, 
God, no wonder my bill was so expensive if my fingers getting stuck on the buttons. But they will come in handy though, I must say. So, yeah, because they don't last long. So we've got another bag of um, Twinkle Cut oven chips because again, they're really handy. And yeah, that is, that is it. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that Tesco haul. Um, as promised, I am just going to go through the number of meals that I got, evening meals, for the money. So for the £120 or thereabouts, I got, let's have a look, one night of fajitas, um, curry in the slow cooker, that's two nights, chilli in the slow cooker, that's another two nights, um, pasta bolognese, another two nights, salmon one night, uh, chorizo and potato soup in the slow cooker that's another one night and then pancakes another one and then I also got um, some wine and some frozen mushrooms to do a pie also the flour and eggs as well for the pastry because I already had a tin of steak so you can kind of count that one as well because that's what I try and do is mix what I've already got and just add a few ingredients to make myself another meal. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 meals if you count the pie. And I usually like to get 14 or maybe more for a two week shop. This week involved stocking up on things like washing powder, toiletries. We also got dog meat as well. But all the expensive stuff, um, toilet roll as well, always pushes your bill up. And... Um, we did get a lot of nice lunches as well, so we got noodles, we got um, several sandwich meats and, and things like that, So um, and cakes as well. So I don't think it was too bad. So yeah, that's that's it really. I always like to do a little bit of a lowdown on what I got. Um, so thanks for watching, I really appreciate you watching. Sodding wash has stopped now. I did say, didn't I, at the beginning that... Thank you. Yeah, at least it's not like my dryer that plays a full-on tune. It's like songs of praise in here when that's finished. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy my content, please leave us a like and a subscribe. And please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Um, and yeah, I don't know what's happening. I'm not getting any more subscribers. So please subscribe. Um, I'd really appreciate that. And I hope you have a nice day, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, see you later. Bye.